Welcome, I'm Deronda with Foods 101, and today I'm showing you how to make this old-fashioned apple crisp. Absolutely perfect this time of the year. We've got these fresh Granny Smith apples in at our supermarket. You're looking for anywhere to five to six cups of sliced Granny Smith apples. You're going to need one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and one-fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. And we're going to toss our sliced apples in these three ingredients. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. We've got a cup and a half of um, oats. These are just your one-minute cooking oats, as you can see right here. I've got one-fourth of a cup of pecans. Now, these are chopped pecans. You can use walnuts, or you can leave the nuts out altogether. That'll be up to you. I've got one half of a cup of all-purpose flour, one half of a cup of packed brown sugar. Make sure your sugar is really packed well, and one um, half cup of butter. Now, this is just one stick of butter we're going to need. Now, let me show you how we're going to slice the apples. With a paring knife, I'm going to show you how to peel these apples. I start at the top, and I just want to turn my apple just a little bit there, remove the top. And then we're going to start going right between the pill and the apple itself and keep twisting it around. Now, before you start peeling your apples, when you get them home, you want to make sure you clean them really well under fresh, running, cool tap water. And then you're going to lie them over on some really clean um, um, paper towels and to make sure that you get all the water off before... Um, cutting into your Granny Smith apples here. All right, that's absolutely perfect. Now we're going to cut it in half, just like this, and we're going to cut it into quarters. Let's see, we'll go down here, and you're going to remove the ends like this, and then this end, and then in the center, you've got to be real careful when you're working with your knife, we're going to remove um, the seeds as you can see and it'll just pop right out there okay these are so delicious and tart now I just take a knife and mix slices like this I cut them fairly thin because I love when I bite into my apple crisp that I have this beautiful combination of uh, really nice soft cooked apples with that delicious crunchy top on um, that apple crisp that makes it just so popular during the fall season to eat all right, now we're going to take, make sure we get all of our apples peeled and sliced right in here uh, to a bowl. And we're going to do this rather quickly because we don't want our apples oxidizing on us, and that means turning brown. Now, if you're someone that likes lying your apple down and cutting it, by all means do it. Whatever makes you feel most comfortable is the way you should go ahead and peel your apples. Okay, and then you can even lie them down and start making your thin slices that we're going to add right here to the bowl. So whatever makes you more comfortable, please by all means use that method. I got six cups of these thinly sliced apples out of my four medium sized Granny Smith apples and I'm going to set this off to the side while I make the flour, the sugar, and salt mixture. Now with the whisk, we're going to slowly or quickly, however you want to do it, incorporate these three ingredients before we add them to our apple because you don't want to bite into it and get a big lump of flour, okay? That looks perfectly, plus that distributes the salt evenly. And now we're going to add it here to the top of our sliced apples and with two spoons. You want to make sure you toss your apple slices all in that sugar, flour, and salt mixture. Now we can set this off to the side and start on our topping. All right, to our topping we're adding the oatmeal. Just put it right in here along with the flour and the packed sugar. And oh, this is always so fun to break up. Oh yes. And now we're gonna go ahead and whisk this around till it's really fine incorporated. And if you want to use um, a fork, you may do that. Actually, I think it's gonna be better than that whisk. So with the fork, you can just work these three ingredients in well with each other. Now this time you can add your 
nuts if you're adding nuts to this and we're melting our butter over low heat and we're going to add our butter to this i want to show you a cool trick i learned to grease the baking dish we're going to be making our apple crisp in i've taken the cover of the butter wrapper and i'm going to grease our i've got a two quart casserole dish i'm going to be baking this apple crisp in but if you have a lovely 13 by 9 inch pan that you would like to bake it in you may do that too just make sure you give it a light greasing and I love to use the butter now I can just throw this away and we're going to pour those tossed apples in that we toss with that flour and that sugar and salt just like that and look how beautiful oh my goodness I can smell those apples and you know they're a little sweeter with that little sugar on it. Back with the topping. Add your butter. As you can see, and I like to get all of my butter out of there. Now I melted mine in a skillet, but if you want to melt it in a saucepan, you may. If you may want to um, even melt it in the microwave or over the oven top, and I chose the oven top. And now we're going to just slowly whisk this in till all of our oatmeal and our sugar and pecans are covered with that fantastic butter. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my. Woo! I can smell that butter. It smells so yummy. And I can smell these tart apples over here. They're absolutely just mm, making my taste buds. Wanting to sing. I need apple crisp. I need apple crisp. Oh my goodness. I remember all the years as um being spending time with my grandparents and my grandmother's making this all the time and there's nothing like a fabulous old-fashioned apple crisp with your hands get in there if you want with your hands or you can just pour it on the top of your apples we're going to add that crunchy topping to our sliced apples and i can tell this is going to be absolutely fantastic now don't pack down your topping kind of leave it loose so it can um, bake evenly. All right, now this is off to a 350 degree preheated oven for the next 55 minutes. Woo, 55 minutes are up and that apple crisp is ready to come out of the oven. Here's that apple crisp and listen to the top. Got that lovely crunch on the top and looky here in the center. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put it right over here on the plate. Look at those apples. Oh my goodness, that looks absolutely fantastic. I'm going to come over here and get some more. Put it right over here on the plate. Going to give it a try and see what it tastes like. I get those apples. Oh my goodness, and if you can smell the apples and the brown sugar and the, whoo, these tart apples bacon, got to give it a try. Whoops, got a little steam coming up. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The perfect amount of sweetness. The apples are lovely and tender and have that tart flavor. You've got the crunch from the pecans, the oatmeal, and that delicious brown sugar. Hey, y'all. I'm Dorana with Foods 101. Hope you give this a try. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll catch you next time.